phone here. How are you all doing today? Lovely sunny day. Lovely sunny day. Um, <coughs> right, today's little lesson is um, it's sort of a bluegrassy type thing, really. It's called um, "My Fat Girl." It's a cracking song. I mean, it's just a cracking song. Oh, by the way, um, as you know, I build guitars. I've got one here. You know this, and I've acquired two more of these. Yes, two more authentic ones, and this one, of course, you can see is the same as this. See? Ooh. So I should build one of these, use one of these, and build a copy of this. So if you're interested in any of these guitars, then um, obviously give me a shout at Mark Lebone Scarbox Guitars at yahoo.com. Um, I've got a few in stock, but obviously I'll custom build most of mine anyhow. Um, and don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. Lots more stuff coming up and request away if you've got any requests. Um, so, yeah, this is called My Fat Gal. Uh, it's a nice one. It's four chords. Um, it's D, G and A and there is a D in it. No, sorry, an E in it. Um, of course, there's a D in it because it starts in D. There's an E in it, but that's in like the middle eight bit. It's sort of like got a verse, verse, middle eight, which is like the chorusy bit. And then back to a verse, then it goes... Blah, 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 carries on. So it's quite a nice simple one. So I say the chords you need are D. Now you can either play the D up here, which is second top, second bottom, middle open, or you can play the D down here on the seventh. The G you can play obviously at all strings open. Or alternatively, you can play it on the fifth fret, the triangle shape, which is seventh top, seventh bottom, fifth middle. There's two ways of doing the A. You can either keep, do this and slide it down two more frets, the triangle string, and play the A here. So now you're on ninth top, ninth bottom, seventh middle. Alternatively, the second fret all strings. And the E, again, is the triangle shape, but now you're up here on the fourth top, fourth bottom, second middle. Or if you can't play this, obviously then you play the E down on the ninth. So there's, you know, there's different ways to play it. Guys for one, one finger can play it, and the guys that can play chords can also play it. Um, I'll go through, I'll go through it. Um, I've seen quite a few people, different people do it on, on, on YouTube. Um, I sort of do it at a relatively mild speed, especially when I'm with my band, because we've got a mandolin player and a, a banjo player and things like that, so they can do their little solos. But it sort of goes like, it starts in the D. Around the chords, very very simple. <coughs> um, anyway, I'm tuned to open G by the way, I didn't say it in the beginning, uh, which is G D G. Um, and I'm going for my trusty Vox Mini 5. Uh, I'm just in the clean channel, the acoustic channel, just a bit of reverb because it's not sort of one that you want going on gaunchy stuff on it, it's just sort of lay back, you know. I've seen other people play it a lot faster. Um, I like to play it at that speed. Um, sort of works for me. You have to excuse my voice. It's, I think there's a lot of hay for you around, so I'm struggling a bit with the voice. Yeah, we'll go through. We'll go through it, and then we we we'll start to. I come to a close up, and we can break it down. So it starts in the D, and I'm just sort of doing sort of up and down sort of strokes. Back to the D. 
When I see my landlord, but the cheap new drops of the hop out. D the new to A, back to the D. This is like the midget called G. It don't go for a Stop, ba ba da ba, then grab the D, 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 and to the G, 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 D, D, A, to the D. So it's quite a simple, quite a simple one. Um, so what I do is I come to a close up, um, and we also then try and do it in both the guys that can play chords and the guys that can't play chords that so just do it with one finger. So I come to a close up. So here we are at a close up. So the chords you need, as I say, a D, which is up here, second top, second bottom, middle open. The G is either all open or a triangle shape here on the fifth fret, seventh top, seventh bottom, fifth middle. The D, it will turn if it is up, well, we've done the D, sorry. The A is either up here, second fret, all strings, or the G, just slide it down two frets. So now you're on ninth bottom, ninth top, ninth, sorry, ninth top, ninth bottom, seventh middle. And the E, you can, now you can either play the E on the ninth fret, or you just move this triangle shape, slide it right way down. So now you're on fourth top, fourth bottom, second middle. So, I mean, that's the sort of the chords you need, so it depends if you can play with, with one finger, uh, sorry, it depends if you can play with chords or you can play with one finger. So what I do is I'll go for a verse um, with chords, and then I'll go for a verse just playing it with one finger till we get to the chorus. So we start in the D. And I say to off just sort of up and down strokes. See, I've got this thing about emphasizing this top string. Um, Time back to the D. That's what I like about that fact. The A go mine to the D. He did da 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 to the G. Do not to the heart behind to the D. Da da to the A to the D. This is the middle eight to the G G G to the D D D to the E to the E to the A. Stop da ba ba. To the D, 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 to the G, 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 to the D, to the A, to the D. From the D, from the D, 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 to the G, 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 to the D, to the D, to the A. Back to the D, 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 to the G, 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 to the D. D, and then to the G, and to the G, 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 to the D, 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 to the E, to the E, to the E, and to the A, stop, stop, bop, dop, dop, dum, from the D, to the D, to the G, stay on G, from the D, to the A, to the D. So that's playing it there, as you see, um, either with chords or with one finger. So it works both ways. So it's a great one for you guys that can only play with the one finger. Um, okay, I'm gonna sit back down. So, cracking little song, isn't it? Cracking little song, my fat gal and mine. And so you can play it at different speeds. I was doing it quite slow there um, to show you guys how, 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 how it goes. Um, I would sort of slightly do it a bit more. Um, again, if you've got a stomp box, it's a great one to get the stomping going. Um, Let's say when we play it, uh, we've got a banjo and fiddle player, so of course they do little solos in it. Um, I don't do any solos in it, I just stomp away. And of course we've also got a washboard player as well, so she's washboarding away, chick 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 ching ching. Um, so yeah, fat, 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 fat girl of mine, great little song. Um, don't forget, please subscribe to the channel guys. Um, and if you've got any requests, and if you want to know anything about my guitars that I build, then obviously please send me an email to my email to below. Um, okay, that's it for me today. 
See you again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.